Want to build powerful AI apps without dealing with the hassle of infrastructure? You are in the right place. Today, our cloud expert will introduce you to the Amazon Bedrock, the easiest way to create and scale generative AI applications using cutting-edge foundation models. Imagine having instant access to AI models from top players like AI21 Labs, Anthropic, Stability AI, and Amazon Title model, all in one place. With Bedrock, you can generate text, build chatbots, create stunning images, and more, all while enjoying a fully managed serverless experience. Stay with us because by the end of the session, you will learn how to compare and customize models for your use cases, avoid unexpected costs, and get a special offer for a free class on Cloud AI ML solutions. So let's dive in. Okay, now this is the service team. That is where you will get access to all these foundation models. Okay, we have different kind of tools. Okay, Amazon Bedrock, you can see. It is the easiest way, as I told you, to build and scale generative AI applications with foundation models. Okay, now, as you can see, overview says like Bedrock is a fully, now this is important, very, very important. Think of bedrock like an UI to be able to use with generative AI or to be able to use with foundation models. Because the problem I hope you are able to see that we have different foundation models coming in from different companies all across the globe, right? So instead of going for each one of them and accessing them on their platform, AWS has provided us with a unanimous platform where we can do or where we can access all those foundation models across the globe from a single point, from a single place, isn't it? So that you don't have to hover, you don't have to uh, go to individual uh, websites and then able to do it. Okay, we can use it over here. We can compare the models. We can compare the responses. Okay, so Bedrock, as I told you, fully managed service because there is the compute behind that and everything. It's all managed for you. You don't have to worry about it. It makes FM from leading AI startups and Amazon available via API. Okay, so leading AI startups from there to Amazon, uh, it is available from Amazon. They are all available through an API. So you can choose from wide range of foundation models to find the model that is best suited for your use case. So from here, as I told you, you know, with comparison, as someone was asking earlier, okay, so understanding the nuances between the different models, we will then be able to use the one that well, that is well suited to our use case. Now, this is important with the bedrock serverless experience because it is fully serverless team. That's that, that is something you have to understand fully serverless. Now, what is the meaning of serverless? So serverless is a service where you don't have to configure a server in the backend. Okay. Because most of the services you see, for example, EC2. You might have used in AWS, right? Or virtual machines, right? These services you'll require to configure a server in the backend with its all capacity, the compute, the RAM, the storage. And then not only that, so that is just a part of provisioning the machines, but even after that, you'll have to manage and maintain them. So here we are fully serverless. We don't require a server in the backend. You can get started quickly, privately, customize your FMs with your own data, easily integrate and deploy them into your application using AWS tools without having to manage any infrastructure. Okay, now as I told you, the benefits of using a chat bedrock is that it let you accelerate development of generative AI applications using FMs through an API. So it's merely an API. In fact, in the programmatic word, it's just an evoke model. I mean, those that were present in my last generative AI session, they would know that we just use simple codes in order to invoke it. Okay, just an invoke model API, and that was that's what that was it. Right? We just use that API, and we were able to invoke any model that we want. Also. You can see, you can choose from FMs from different AI startups, for example, AI21, Anthropic, Stability, Amazon, 
even meta okay so using those foundation models we can adapt now this is the term that you should be familiar with we can adapt our models for that particular use case and the different things that we can do from here as i told you earlier is that text generation chatbots conversational interfaces you see like chatbots virtual assistants text summarization i told you searching functionality be able to search find and synthesize the information the image generation personalization right so all of that is possible within the bedrock Now, choice of foundation models from leading AI startups, as I told you. So Jurassic 2 is something that comes in from AI21 Labs. I'll show you all of this in a minute, okay? I'm just giving you a brief introduction so that you will know when I go there and use them. AI21 Labs, Jurassic 2 is, uh, is the offering from them. Language task, including question answering, summarization, text generation, and more. It can, it can be done with Jurassic 2. Specifically used in a more general purpose use case. Claude, again, another very popular uh, foundation model. It's been used very popularly for conversations, question answering, workflow automation, based on research into training honest and responsible AI system. Okay, everyone is claiming it to be more reliable and more uh, neutral or more, rather say, uh, unbiased. Right. So with the training that they are doing, the data that they are providing for pre-training, that is where the answer will, I mean, that's where, you know, it, it's all decided the kind of responses you're going to get. Command, as I told you, go here, transform your products with foundational language models built for enterprises. Stable diffusion, now this is a particular model team, Stability AI, which we use for unique, realistic, high quality images art logos and decisions okay and now amazon titan as told you amazon has its own foundation models as well so amazon titan titan generation one titan express uh, titan embeddings right so it is very again a general purpose model that we get here in bedrock to do the text summarization generation classification open-ended qa information extraction, embeddings, and a search search. So more of general purpose, as I told you. And finally, Llama as well. Meta is looking to unlock the power of large language models. Okay, our latest version of Llama is now accessible to individual creators and researchers, business to all of all sizes so that they can experiment and innovate and scale their ideas responsibly. Okay, now, before we go ahead, uh, if you want to use this Amazon bedrock, we need to basically configure it. Okay. Once and for all. Okay. So you see, uh, if I just show you the model axis. Okay. So as I told you team, we have different kind of models, which are available. For example, we are around 34 base models, which are available. Okay. So you see, as I told you, if I click here, in fact, I clicked here, by the way, model axis. So in here, you can see we have AI 21, which gives us Jurassic. Okay. Here we have Amazon's eight order models for different use cases. Certain are more comprehensive, certain are smaller for quick responses. Few of those are for embeddings. Right. Like I told you, you know, word embeddings need to be done right a while back when you asked for me the transformer concept, right. In order to do the correlation and in order to figure out the semantics within your data. Then we have Anthropic. Anthropic comes with a model named Claude. And you see Claude has different versions to it. K3.5, Opus, Sonnet, Haiku. Right. And again, we have Cohere, as told you, uh, in the name of Command. Okay. And Meta, we have six of those. Uh, Mistral AI and Stability AI as well. Now you see team, there are, by default, when you come across this concept, no, by default, when you start using Bedrock, Basically, you don't have access to any of these. Okay. Now, I have to warn you before you do anything. No, no, no. It is not an FM by itself. It's a 
platform that gives you access to the FMs. But even like I was saying that by default, when you come here, you don't have access to any of these. You will have to request the access for these models and then only you will get it and then only you'll be able to use it. Okay, and by the way, one more thing team, uh, whether you are in the free tier or not of AWS, it will still cost you some money. Okay, so just be careful doing a demonstration of these bedrock later on as well, if you want. Is that uh, every use or every query that you will do for this foundation model, just like, you know, in the chat, GPT, you'll put a question there and it is giving an answer. So for every question that you're putting in and every answer that you're getting, you are being charged here. Okay. So just be careful using it. I'm already warning you. Okay. It will not be free because you see many of these APIs are outside going outside, right? They're not all AWS's, uh, AWS's foundation model. So if you're using an outside foundation model for every API, for every uh, query, you'll have a corresponding uh, charges associated. Now, how do you get access or how can you avail the access to these particular models? I just show you a quick video for that. Okay. Just have a very three, four minutes of video because you cannot do it once again. Okay. You can only do it once. Okay. So I'll just show you a quick, uh, quick, small video, how you can set up the bedrock for use case. Okay. And this is done by me only for my last, uh, batch. Okay. And because I could not do it again. So that's why I've uh, recorded it. Okay. There's no audio to it. I'll just, I'll be the audio for you. Okay. So again, team, you can see here, uh, this is the AWS's homepage. I'll just run the video now. And now from here, you see, we will be searching for just a second. Again, I'll just play. You can see, so as I just while back, I shown you, this is the homepage of AWS. Just make sure team that you are in the right region while you're using it. You know, the concept from within AWS, that region matters a lot. You can see that's what I've chosen a proper region here. I've chosen North Virginia, but whichever is closer to you, you can choose it. You can see different regions are supported. Okay. You can choose a region that's uh, pretty much close to you to get a better response. Now I'm in North Virginia that's closer to me. And now I'll go for Amazon bedrock. I can search it. I mean, I can click in there itself. Or I can search in the search bar as well there. That will eventually take me to the Amazon bedrock. And now that you are here, you see, we have discussed it already. It's an easiest way to build and scale generally way applications for the foundation models. And we have as well seen uh, why it is so popular being fully managed and being serverless as well, allowing us to use the leading AI startup models and as well Amazon's own models. Okay. And serverless is, uh, being the biggest feature among all. So now that we know how to quickly, we are going to uh, get our responses to it. Okay. Let's just see how we can set this Amazon bedrock for our, uh, access to the foundation models. Okay. Now. In order to get started, you see on the right, left hand side, I'll click on the street dots lines and down below you have this model access option. Okay. You will just scroll down there. You see different options are there by the way, and we can use it in different ways. For example, foundation models, custom models. We can use it for different playgrounds. That's what our, uh, exam, uh, our particular demo is going to be around. And then you have model access at the down and you can see this is how it looked like in the first place for me when I, when I first got started with it. Okay. And you can see what is the model access? We can enable all the model access or we can specifically more enable all of them. So you can see these are, this, this is how it used to look like, and this is how it will look like for you as well in your case, if you're using it for the first time that none of them I have access to. So how I can get the access, I'll click on enable specific models. And in here, I'll choose the models that I want the access to. For example, let me just choose uh, for AI 21 labs. We'll go for Jurassic 2 Ultra, Jurassic 2 Mid. Then Amazon will go for Titan Text Embeddings or Titan Embeddings G1, Titan Text G1. 
टाइटन टेक्स्ट जी वन एक्सप्रेस ऑल्सो टाइटन इमेज जनरेटर एज वेल बिकॉज इस अगेन विल गिव अस इमेज दैट रॉन्ग Now going down, we are looking into anthropic, and as I told you, anthropic has its model in the name of Claude. So we'll select the Claude three sonnet. Okay, and uh, we will also go with Claude. And Claude instant too. Also go here. Command we can go with Lama Mistral Stability AI something that is very popular. We'll just select that one as well. We'll just click up. Now here, team, it will ask you for your user details. Why? Because you see, those companies as well will want to know, right? Who is trying to access their uh, model. So here you have to mention the name of your company. You can put it K twenty one. By the way, for here I'm, I've just ex put X Y Z there, but you can put the K twenty one and put the email address for K twenty uh, one over there. It's fine. What industry do you operate in? You can choose it. Who are your intended users? You can mention that, and yeah, just like that. After describing this information, and this is specifically required for particular model. Okay, you can see that. Okay, we have requested the access for these particular foundation models. And with that, we we'll click on submit. A team, if you submit it, the interesting thing is you will not. I mean, let, let me just get there. Okay, once you submit it, you will not get immediate access to. You can see it is showing in progress for many of those. Right? Yes, I've gotten access to certain models, but for certain of those, it is still saying in progress. It will. You have to wait for some time, by the way, and that's what I did not want. That's why I have recorded this video just to not wait here doing that. I have. Skipped some time here, stopped my video, and after the while you'll see it will again start. Okay, when I have got the access to all of them, so it will not take more than fifteen twenty minutes, but you will get an access to all these uh, models that we require. And you can see with the magic of fast forward. Okay, uh, I have got an access to. The models that I wanted, and see, we have got access to every model that we wanted, and even the stability AI. <clears throat> so, team, that's how we have landed here. So, you see, right now, this is the page that you're looking at, right? No, no, it is not. Titan is neither free of charge. Okay, please be aware, Titan is not free of charge. Is this downloading enabled? Is this downloading enabled? Sorry, I don't get it. Coverage. But if, like I was saying, that you we have got the access to all these models. Okay, let's just see how we can play with them. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the video. Now all you have to do is just click the link in the description below, or if you are just starting out, just type k twenty one academy dot com slash aws aiml zero two. Now, in this page, you can enter your name, enter email ID. Enter phone number and click on book your free seat now. Then you will be taken to a thank you page. Now you can add this session to your Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. And I promise this is something that you don't want to miss. So go ahead, click on the link and step into the world where learning knows no boundaries. Till then, keep enjoying. I'll see you in the next video.